You're listening to Don't Miss This on Paris Underground Radio. For more great content, including bonus videos of events in and around Paris, please join us on Patreon. Hello, and welcome back to Don't Miss This, your weekly roundup of the best of what's happening in Paris this week. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity, the creator and founder of the Paris Underground Radio Podcast Network. This week will begin with a musical pop-up shop and end with an artistic nocturne before the storm. In between, you can find retrospectives ranging from famous artists in lesser-known periods to foreign artists finding their voices to the first-ever female sculptress to exhibit in Beaubourg. Spend an exclusive night in one of the most stunning, ornate locations in the world, transform into a virtual architect, dance with yourself, and so much more. This week's edition of Don't Miss This covers the week of Sunday, February 26th through Saturday, March 4th, 2023. Guess who's coming to town? No, it's not Clint Eastwood, but you're close. To celebrate the release of their new album, Cracker Island, the band Gorillaz is coming to Paris. From now through March 10th, Fnac Montparnasse is hosting a pop-up shop dedicated to the Gorillas. But you'll have to head to Fnac des Terres on Monday, February 27th to meet musician Damon Album and graphic designer Jamie Hewlett, two founding members of the Gorillas, for a meet-and-greet signing session. The Gorillas pop-up shop will be at Fnac Montparnasse from now through March 10th and features Cracker Island, of course, but also a limited edition box set and items from the Gorillas universe, some of which are exclusive. The meet-and-greet signing session with Damon Album and Jamie Hewlett will take place on Monday, February 27th, beginning at 6 p.m. at Fnac des Town, and is free to attend. For more information, please visit leclaireur.fnac.com. That's l-e-c-l-a-i-r-e-u-r dot f-n-a-c dot com. While I'm sure you're familiar with the work of French artist Henri Matisse, You may not be as familiar with the work he created during the 1930s when he left France for Tahiti. This trip marked a turning point in his style, and that particularly is seen through the lens of Cahiers d'Art, a major avant-garde magazine created by Christian Zervus in 1926, where Matisse regularly published, gives us our jumping-off point for the new Matisse Cahiers d'Art Le Tournant des années 30 exhibit at the Musée de l'Orangerie. This exhibit will bring together a collection of Matisse's art from the 1930s, from the time between the two world wars. You'll find drawings, engravings, paintings, and film fragments, as well as several pieces that are rarely seen in France, including the Grand Nu Couché in from Baltimore and Le Champ from Houston. Articles and reproductions of Matisse's work within the Cahiers d'Art illuminate his competition with Picasso. And you'll find Matisse's work alongside artists like Georges Braque, Juan Miro, Ferdinand Leger, Vasily Kandinsky, Mondrian, Le Corbusier, and Marcel Duchamp. Matisse Cahiers d'Art, Le Tournant des années 30, will be at the Musée de l'Orangerie from Wednesday, March 1st through May 29th. For more information, please visit musée-orangerie.fr. That's M-U-S-E-E. Dash o r a n g e r i e dot f r. The time between temporary shows may be the best time to check out the Fondation Louis Vuitton itself. You can take an architectural journey through the permanent exhibit about Frank Gehry and his inspiration for the foundation. You'll begin in the studio with its original scale model and drone videos. And then, even though this exhibit is called an architectural journey, the actual path you take is up to you. The building's design lends itself to multiple pathways, all of which help illuminate the play between its beauty and technological advances. Beginning on Thursday, March 2nd, you can also take part in a virtual reality experience, available both in French and English, that will take you on a three-part guided tour of Gary's architecture, Quote, sweeping you up and above the building to soar to the tops of its glass sails. End quote. Architectural journey Frank Gehry, the Fondation Louis Vuitton, will run between galleries from Wednesday, March 1st through April 2nd and is free to attend. The virtual reality experience will run between Thursday, March 2nd through March 27th, lasts 30 minutes, and costs 6 euros. For more information, please visit fondationlouisvuitton.fr. 
That's F-O-N-D-A-T-I-O-N-L-O-U-I-S-V-U-I-T-T-O-N dot F-R. We know a lot about male sculptors and their influence, but have you heard of Germaine Richier? She was the first female sculptor to be exhibited in the National Museum of Modern Art. This was back in 1956, and beginning on Wednesday, March 1st, you can discover much of Germaine's work in a giant retrospective taking place at the Centre Pompidou. Through nearly 200 sculptures, engravings, drawings, and paintings, this exhibit will draw upon previously unpublished research to show the degree to which Germaine herself influenced the art world. Quote, The layout of the exhibition traces her artistic trajectory in chronological order, highlighting the major themes, the human, the animal, myths, that nurtured her practice as a sculptor. It reveals how Richier affected a revitalization of the figure, forging new images of men and women in the post-war period. Germaine Richier will be at the Centre Pompidou from Wednesday, March 1st through June 12th, and more information can be found at centrepompidou.fr. That's C-E-N-T-R-E-P-O-M-P-I-D-O-U dot F-R. This next event is a little different. And it's not so much an event as a -a one-of-a-kind experience. How would you like to spend the night in the Palais Garnier? Just you, your plus one, and perhaps that infamous phantom? As you may know, the Palais Garnier has been undergoing some renovations, and part of those renovations are being supported by Airbnb. Can you guess where I'm going with this? For one night only, Sunday, July 16th, you can spend the night at the Palais Garnier through Airbnb. So, what does this incredible evening include? Well, you'll get a behind-the-scenes tour of the Palais Garnier, an introduction to ballet with one of the Paris Opera ballet dancers, Then you'll sip champagne while watching an exclusive recital given by artists from the Paris Opera Academy before dining in the sumptuous Foyer de la Danse, an historic room located backstage where the dancers warm up and rehearse just before the shows. To cap off this fabulous evening, you will spend the night in the opera's box of honor, which will be transformed into a majestic room for the occasion. There are some stipulations, of course. You must have a verified Airbnb profile, a positive history on the platform, and be 18 years of age or older. Maximum room occupancy is two people, and travelers are responsible for their own transportation to and from Paris. Of course, given the exceptional nature of the place, travelers will also be required to be particularly respectful of the spaces and furniture made available to them. So, how do you win? Head over to the Airbnb website on Wednesday, March 1st at 6 p.m. and ask to book the room. Again, the stay itself will take place on Sunday, July 16th, and will cost you 37 euros plus taxes and fees. And it's unclear how the winners will be selected, but why not give it a go? Head to airbnb.fr for more information. Get a good night's sleep because beginning on Thursday, March 2nd, a new art exhibit will open at the Jonesy Agency. Tenebre et cauchemar. Six visages de la peur. Or Darkness and Nightmares. Six faces of fear. In this exhibit, six artists will showcase their visions of a fantasized hell inspired by Gialli films. With this as the central theme, the artists will use their own inspirations from science fiction to traditional American tattoos to old newspapers or engravings to create their own pieces. At the opening night Vanny Sage, you can meet the artists, drink a beer, dance to DJed music, view prints, screenings, and more. Tenebre et Cauchemar, Six Visages de la Peur, will be at the Jonesy Agency from Thursday, March 2nd through March 26th. The opening night party will take place on Thursday, March 2nd from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. And the closing night party will take place on March 26th from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. And all are free to attend. For more information, please visit Facebook. On that same day, a group of artists from Vietnam will hold a collective exhibit called VIE, which refers to G, or life in French, as well as the first three letters of Vietnam, 
and a Vietnamese typing mode, which blends Latin letters with Vietnamese tones. This exhibit explores contemporary Vietnamese art decades after the Vietnam War and the advent of the internet. Quote, Having gone through many stages of adaptation, learning, and adjustment, the artists in this exhibition are now at the peaks of their careers, stable and confident in their own skins. These artists no longer struggle to fit themselves in decolonization, desacralization, or dematerialization movements in confirmation with expectations of Western professionals for art that is born out of colonization and war like Vietnam, end quote. You'll find art in various forms, like ceramics, silk paintings, oil on canvas, portrait drawing, and a sort of mosaic made from recycled rags. VIE will be at the A2Z Art Gallery from Thursday, March 2nd through April 1st, and the Vernissage will be on March 2nd at 6 p.m. For more information, please visit a2z-art.com. Beginning on Friday, March 3rd, you can travel from Vietnam to Italy with a new retrospective at the Musée Jacquemart André centered around the work of Renaissance artist Giovanni Bellini. Giovanni has long been considered one of the masters of Renaissance painting, uniquely blending color and tone, and a precursor of the Venetian school. Here you'll find around 50 pieces gathered together from public and private collections all over Europe. In a thematico chronological journey, you'll discover how, quote, his artistic language has never ceased to be renewed throughout his career, while retaining an undeniable part of originality, end quote. These pieces will be shown next to the models who inspired him, from his father Gentile Bellini, to his brother-in-law Mantegna, via Donatello, the Flemish painters, as well as his own pupils Giorgione and Titian. Giovanni Bellini and Florence Croisi will be at the Musée Jacquemart André from Friday, March 3rd to July 17th, and more information can be found at musée-jacquemart-andre.com. That's M-U-S-E-E-J-A-C-Q-U-E-M-A-R-T-Dash.